Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa visited yesterday at Rafah Palace His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Majesty reviewed with His Royal Highness a number of local affairs and affirmed that Bahrain continues towards further development and progress with the determination of its citizens in the National Action March. He held the great role of the government led by His Royal Highness in adopting visions and strategies that strengthen the development of the kingdom. His Majesty affirmed the importance of the Government Forum, which is considered one of the innovative models to develop government work with successful goals and initiatives, thanks to the support of, the, of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He noted that the development approach adopted by the government with the visions of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince is positive reflected on the level of and quality of services provided to citizens. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed thanks to His Majesty the King for his visit and for his support to the government to play its role in the National Action March. He affirmed that his, this support encourages more government achievements that promote the development process and raise the level of services provided to citizens. He stressed his determination to continue to work to achieve the desired national goals. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, congratulating him on the successful launch of satellite Khalifa Sat as the first Emirati-made satellite. His Majesty hailed the advanced step and quantum leap in UAE's approach of manufacturing and launching of the satellite. He commended UAE's strategy in the field of adopting national expertise and labor, noting that the achievement will make scientific and technological history and will be a source of pride for the Arab and Islamic nations. His Majesty wished the UAE further advancements and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the birth of his son Hamdan. His Majesty extended heartfelt congratulations to His Highness, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the newborn baby with abundant health and happiness and guide him on the path of success to serve his society and country. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the sons and grandsons of the late Sheikh Atiyat Allah bin Abdul Rahman Al Khalifa. His Majesty welcomed the guests and stressed the importance of enhancing unity among Bahraini society and maintain the Bahraini heritage and values. The sons and grandsons expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his keenness to communicate with the people of Bahrain, wishing, ab wishing him abundant health and happiness and brought the kingdom further progress and prosperity.
His Royal Highness her Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received a cable of thanks from His Royal Highness her Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of His Royal Highness her Prime Minister's patronage of the Government Forum 2018 that reflects His Royal Highness's keenness to further consolidate the foundations of achievements that contribute in the implementation of the ambitious vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for comprehensive national progress, wishing His Royal Highness her Prime Minister abundant health, happiness and success on the path of serving the kingdom. His Royal Highness's patronage of the third edition of the 2018 Government Forum reflects his interest in modernization and development of government action performance to achieve the kingdom's aspired goals through his directives and constant keenness towards implementation of government projects and programs that positively impact on the homeland's growth, prosperity and achievement of citizens' aspiration. His Royal Highness her Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gudabiya Palace, His Royal Highness her Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Royal Highnesses affirmed the keenness to adopt innovative methods that motivate employees in the government sector to contribute to the National Action March and enhance the partnership and development programs and plans. They expressed satisfaction with the outcomes of this government forum and its role in developing ideas and transforming them into work programs that serve the government's development efforts to increase productivity and speed up the pace of development. They noted Bahrain's economic development and the increase of major international events, which is at Contributed to all state institutions provided for the success of these events organized and prepared by national expertise. The Royal Highnesses discussed a number of regional and international developments and affirmed the importance of Arab meetings and their role in strengthening the region's ability to face political and economic challenges. His Royal Highness her Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting in the presence of His Royal Highness her Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The cabinet praised the outcomes of the government forum and stressed its importance in developing government action and enhancing its achievements. It hailed the efforts of the organizing committee in enhancing the government action and introducing its programs, as well as improving the quality of government services to achieve the aspirations of citizens. The Cabinet also praised the His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's patronage of the Gulf Downstream Association Conference and Exhibition that was inaugurated by Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. It pointed out its importance in coping with the technological development, exchange of expertise and marketing. The Cabinet then hailed the outcomes of the Manama Dialogue 2018 and stressed its importance in exchanging ideas and opinions regarding various issues to reach a common understanding that will lead to a stronger international cooperation. It praised the huge international participation which reflects the Kingdom's influence on the international community in facing various security challenges. 
The cabinet hailed the growth of international events that are hosted in the Kingdom of Bahrain, including the third world championship of indoor skydiving. It praised the efforts of the president of the higher committee of the championship, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and the organizing committee for holding the event. The cabinet also praised the positive results of the Future Initiative Investment Forum with the participation of the Bahraini delegation led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. It con congratulated Saudi Arabia for the success of the forum that included the signing of a number of agreements which reflects the strong economic status of Saudi Arabia. The cabinet then congratulated the UAE for the successful launch of the satellite Khalifa Sat to outer space, which is an international achievement for the UAE. The cabinet expressed condolences to Jordan after the floods incident and affirmed Bahrain's firm stance towards Jordan, wishing the injured a fast recovery. The cabinet also expressed condolences to, the Indone to Indonesia after the helicopter crash accident, affirming the kingdom's firm stance towards Indonesia. The cabinet then condemned the shooting incident at the Siogong in Pittsburgh, which resulted in fatalities and injuries. It affirmed the kingdom's firm stance towards the U.S. and its stance against all terrorist acts. In support of the bilateral cooperation with brotherly countries in all fields, the cabinet approved 17 agreements, MOUs and executive programs, four of which with the UAE and 13 with Egypt. The agreements with the UAE include three MOUs for cooperation in tourism, urban planning and urban development, promotion of innovation, functions and projects, as well as an executive program in the field of environmental protection and climate affairs. The agreements with Egypt, which will be signed in the meetings of the 10th session of the Joint Bahraini Egyptian Committee, include an agreement on cooperation in customs matters, agreement on mutual exemption of visas for holders of diplomatic and private passports, MOUs for cooperation in the fields of earthquakes, culture, archaeology, expert development, organizing exhibitions and joint markets, parliamentary cooperation, joint committee for consular affairs, as well as executive programs for cooperation in the areas of environmental protection, education, transportation and standards, agriculture and livestock. The cabinet appointed all ministries and government bodies to submit reports to the Ministerial Committee for Financial Affairs on what has been achieved in terms of reducing spending and expenditures in the short and medium term in preparation for an integrated report on the results of the government's work program and reducing expenses and the development of public revenues. The cabinet also reviewed the achievements of the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning in this regard. The cabinet approved allowing Thai nationals to carry out 100% of commercial activities in the Dragon City, which comes in consolidation of the partnership between Bahrain and Thailand. The meeting approved allowing companies and foreign investors to have full ownership of oil spill treatment services. The cabinet discussed two draft laws, the first regarding social security and the second on information technology crimes and referred them to their representatives council. His Royal Highness our Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the birth of his son Hamdan. His Royal Highness extended heartfelt congratulations to His Highness, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the newborn baby with abundant health and happiness and guide him on the path of success to serve his society and country led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness Her Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Chairman of Gravity Indoor Skydiving Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, marking the success of the third FAI World Cup Championship that was held in Bahrain. His Royal Highness congratulated Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid on the great success of the World Cup that thanks to the team's efforts, the event has entered the history of the World Championships. He also expressed admiration of the outstanding level of preparation and organization of the championship that reflects the international status of Bahrain in all fields, especially in sports. His Royal Highness highlighted the vital role and sincere efforts of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid in organizing this world event and attracting international champions. His Royal Highness wished Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid continued success, excellence and accomplishments. In reply, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid sent a cable of thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his support of the championship which contributed to its success. His Royal Highness our Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Palace the former Secretary General of the Arab League, Amr Musa, who is currently on their visit to the Kingdom. 
His Royal Highness affirmed that Saudi Arabia has been a strong support for Arab causes for its leading role in defending the security and stability of Arab and Islamic nations. He stated that the challenges the Arab nation currently faces require a unified Arab stance that stimulates the nation's power and preserves its security and stability to support development and achieve a prosperous future. His Royal Highness hailed the visit of the Secretary General of the Arab League commanding his efforts in improving Arab joint action and defending Arab interests. He stressed the importance of increasing visits and meetings between Arab and Gulf officials to coordinate visions and stances and serve joint interests. He expressed satisfaction with the development of Bahraini-Egyptian relations in various fields based on the historic ties between the, two, the leaders of the two nations. The former Secretary General of the Arab League expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for the warm welcome, praising His Royal Highness's wise vision toward regional and international situations. He noted His Royal Highness's keenness on developing joint Arab action, affirming his agreement with His Royal Highness's supporting vision to every effort that aims to preserve the security and stability of various countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to congratulate him on the birth of his son Hamdan. His Royal Highness extended heartfelt congratulations to His Highness, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the newborn baby with abundant health and happiness and guide him on the path of success to serve his society and country, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, hailed the third annual government forum and noted that it reflects Bahrain's 2030 economic vision and its principles, which are based on sustainability, competitiveness, and fairness through enhancing the practices of the government sector and improving the performance of its institutions towards professionalism and excellence, which is one of the goals of His Majesty's reform project. The Speaker praised His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's patronage of the forum and the initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, considering it a positive interactive platform to enhance efficiency and effect in government performance in line with the Economic Vision 2030. He affirmed the importance of the forum in creating a growth-stimulating environment in the private sector, working on a sustainable environment and an integrated infrastructure, improving the quality of services and efficiency of government performance and identifying the government's priorities in the next phase. Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh asserted that holding the government forum is an important step in evaluating the government performance. He added that it is also an opportunity to benefit from all expertise to prepare the government plan for the coming four years and the challenges to be faced mainly achieving the financial balance within the wise vision of His Majesty the King to develop the government performance and prepare the initiatives that are positively reflected on the level of services provided to citizens. As Saleh praised the government forum outcomes and under the the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the initiatives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. He noted that the forum reflected the government keenness on following up and re reviewing all set programs and plans and serving citizens, hailing the government's Im improvement of the quality of many basic services through a range of policies and programs. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa patronized yesterday the opening ceremony of the new headquarters for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Diplomatic Institution held by the Ministry in the presence of a number of guests from inside and outside of Bahrain. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak made a statement in which he expressed pleasure in patronizing the ceremony which comes within the framework of the Ministry's development march to be a tool for Bahrain's foreign policy in its regional and international environment. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed, for his efforts in developing the work of the ministry and to prepare its diplomats and staff for the tasks entrusted to them efficiently and effectively, wishing them success. At the beginning of the ceremony, the minister delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to the Deputy Premier for opening the new headquarters and for his support to the ministry. The minister welcomed Amr Musa, stressing that he is a symbol of Arab diplomacy, wh whether as the Egyptian Minister of Foreign Affairs or as Secretary General of the Arab League, which has supported the region's affairs. 
He commended the efforts of the members of the institution and their strategic objectives. He expressed confidence that the institution will be a political and diplomatic beacon that supports the foreign policy of Bahrain. The minister added that the advanced and integrated strategies developed by the institute are basis for the work that will prepare the leaders of tomorrow in the field of diplomacy according to the highest academic standards and the finest scientific programs and the latest practical exercises. The Egyptian Minister of Foreign Affairs and former Secretary General of the Arab League hailed the efforts and role of Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak. He also congratulated the foreign minister on opening the new headquarters for the diplomatic end state. The Egyptian Minister of Foreign Affairs discussed the Manama Dialogue, affirming that it is an important conference where it brought together a large presence of politicians, economists and media figures from around the world. He pointed out that the Manama Dialogue conference came amid surprising events in which there were many drawbacks and risks and many future prospects. He stressed the importance of solving the Palestinian issue and discussed the climate change and its effects regionally and internationally. He affirmed the importance of a new Arab system focused on identity and the realization of common interests among Arab countries. The ceremony included a film about the diplomatic institute and the stages of development. The Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa was at the forefront to receive the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the UAE Minister of Culture and Knowledge Development Noura bin Mohammed Al Kabi upon the arrival at Bahrain International Airport and an official visit to the kingdom. The meeting of the Joint Supreme Committee between Bahrain and UAE will be held tomorrow in its eighth session led by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and his UAE counterpart. The committee discussed the cooperation fields between Bahrain and UAE and means of enhancing them in the fields of politics, economy, commerce and culture. The third FAI World Cup of Indoor Skydiving Championship concluded yesterday at Gravity Bahrain in Zalag following a dazzling performance by 300 leading skydivers in the world representing 100 teams from 25 countries. Chairman of Gravity Indoor Skydiving Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa expressed pride in the success of the event noting that it reflects Bahrain's capabilities in hosting international championships and a go good incentive to pursue efforts to attract more championships that enhance the kingdom's pioneering status in the sports field. He also expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his continuous support and follow-up on the championship, which reflects His Royal Highness's keen interest in supporting the sports sector and athletes that come in line with Bahrain's comprehensive development. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid underscored that Bahrain, according to the participants, presented a distinguished model for hosting world events, gaining the trust of World Air Sports Federation to hold the championship. He also congratulated the owners of all the participants for their skillful, outstanding performances, affirming that the championship provided for the participating teams and federations a new opportunity to gain further experience through the strong competition. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid also expressed thanks and appreciation to the Chechnya's head for military affairs and deputy chief for the National Guard, Daniel Martinov, who attended the event stressing that his visit contributed in the success of the championship and intensifying competitiveness. He also expressed thanks and appreciation to Bahrain's Air Sport Federation, organizers and sponsors whose role contributed to the success of this world sports event. The Minister of Youth and Sports, Hisham al Joder, and President of Bahrain's Air Sports Federation, Sheikh Salman Al Khalifa, were also present in the closing ceremony. The ceremony began with the speech delivered by General Manager of Gravity Indoor Skydiving, Khaled Al Hamadi, in which she expressed the honor of gravity in hosting the championship, asserting that the event is a proof of the kingdom's commitment towards developing the sports sector in line with the aspirations of the leadership. She also thanks Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid for his support, vision, leadership and commitment to excellence. Chairman of the Board of Audit of the International Federation of Air Sports, Ronald Ovijik, expressed thanks and appreciation to the higher committee of the championship and to Gravity for the good pr preparation and care given to the participants. He also hailed Bahrain's sports facilities that enabled it to host several international tournaments. He congratulated all the participants and winners on the success of the event. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid then distributed the prizes on the winners of all categories. Sheikh Fatma Al Khalifa won first place, Naif Al Salim came second, and Ibrahim Al Awadi was third in Gulf Cup category for free movements.
I would like to thank Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid for undertaking this endeavor which has led to this excellent competition, this excellent event, excellent in organization, excellent in exposure, excellent in food, excellent in finance, excellent in media exposure. This is a prime example how FAI would like to have its competition. Um, thank you. So a big thank you. We have also seen not excellence in organization, but also excellence in sport performance. There have been three world records and 12 continental records. So a big applause to the competitors who made those. We are also very happy to find out that wherever you organize a competition, there's going to be bad weather. So we had rain in Bahrain, which is special. Um, I'll keep it short to, for the formal part. I'm here on behalf of FAI, as said. Um, we have noted that everything is in good standing order. The contract has been fulfilled. The results are valid. So it's time to close this competition formally. I can take off this. I don't need it anymore. Um, we will be looking forward to see uh, more events um, in Bahrain, in this beautiful country. So I'd like to say, Shukran Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, Shukran Gravity and Shukran Bahrain. I'm very happy that I won. I managed to get first place for all GCC countries and I managed to get top 10 in the world countries. And I'm very happy that it was in Bahrain. I had the home tunnel advantage, so I was very prepared for this competition. I trained every single day just to compete in this competition for two years. This is first World Cup in uh, Bahrain. This is, uh, I think it's a huge event. And uh, this uh, competition in Bahrain is amazing. The, uh, it's amazing from a uh, view of a uh, competitor. Uh, we are three, we came here and we are three like uh, rock stars. Like, uh, uh, not in every competition we have so good uh, organized uh, everything, like the, the food and the village and um, the transportation and the living. Everything is, is in this competition is on the highest level. We just finished the third indoor skydiving uh, World Cup here in Bahrain. Uh, we placed first. It was a good competition. The team at Gravity did a great job organizing the meet, uh, putting everything together. And uh, Bahrain is just an incredible place to compete. We're able to compete all over the world, and this is definitely uh, one of the top level places that we've ever been to. So, yeah, we appreciate all the hospitality that the Bahrain people give us, and we look forward to coming back. We worked really hard to get here. Um, long time training, very hard together. Um, and overall it paid off in the end we're all very happy about it um, competing at Bahrain is amazing it's an incredible experience with an amazing atmosphere compared to the other competitions and we had a lot of fun 
The Minister of Information Affairs, Ali Ramayhi, said that the Kingdom of Bahrain has many outstanding success stories that must be taken into account in the media. This came during the Minister's participation in the session of the Financial Balancing Program titled Transforming Challenges into Opportunities to Achieve Government Aspirations as part of the 2018 Government Forum held under the patronage of His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the initiatives of His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He pointed out that the media is looking for information which Bahrain has with its pioneering experience and its achievements in the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He stressed that these national gains must be invested in the local and international media. The Government Forum is an important platform to continue achieving citizens-oriented visions and plans through concentrated efforts with the all government departments and in accordance with the Economic Vision 2030. This year's forum brought together all public sector institutions and reviewed the achievements of ministries and government departments. With the uh, third edition of the Government Forum, we were very glad to have contributed through the uh, National Committee uh, for the Evaluation of uh, Government Services uh, Centers. Uh, this contribution is, is an added value to this forum in the sense that uh, we have evaluated 89 government service centers uh, in Bahrain. And His Royal Highness has announced that uh, 10 government centers has, has received a gold plaque and uh, eight has received a silver plaque. This obviously is uh, in line with uh, uh, providing uh, updated services with uh, high quality uh, to Bahrainis and to residents in the Kingdom of Bahrain. I think it's a wonderful opportunity for everyone working under the government umbrella to come together and to hear from each other and to listen to the assessments that happens over the years. Uh, this is a wonderful time for all of us working in the government sector. Um, it's connecting minds, it connect, it's connecting ideas and bringing a lot of initiative on the platform and celebrating a lot of great uh, government officials who have achieved a lot during uh, their work and during the past year especially. It's important for the government to meet together under one roof um, to A, take note of what we've achieved over the last year. I think the 2015 to 2018 government action plan had ambitious goals. I think the government has largely delivered on those goals and it's important for us on an annual basis A, to reflect on what has been achieved and what remains to be achieved and I think to hear from uh, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, uh, uh, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, about what remains to be done. Having forums of this nature is very important because it brings together many different government entities to be able to unify under one vision and to be able to understand what the other sectors are doing uh, to advance Bahrain. The President of the Asian Football Confederation and Vice Chairman of FIFA, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, signed today in Malaysia a trade partnership agreement with DDMC Fortis that will guarantee AFC's financial future stability in the next decade. Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim delivered a speech at the ceremony in which he stressed that signing the commercial rights agreement is a historic event in the AFC's march. He stated that the agreement will play an important role in securing the financial future of the confederation. He also affirmed that this stage has been reached as a result of the strength of unity of the confederation. He added that along with the various development initiatives, AFC will be able to develop competitions that will become the best in the world. Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim asserted that the standards of good governance and integrity that prevailed in the tender process were a strategic objective that AFC sought to demonstrate in reality. The Shura Council praised the success of the 14th edition of the Manayam Dialogue with, within witnessed large international participation and high-profile presence of senior officials and decision makers from influential countries to exchange views on current security challenges and ways of handling them. The Council underlined the importance of the dialogue as a civilizational approach and a strategic option that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has been keen to foster as a distinguished feature of Bahrain's foreign policy. It praised the forum's success in tackling regional and international issues. The Shura Council hailed His Majesty's support of the Manama Dialogue, stressing the unlimited support of the government led by His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. It also commended the role of His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to ensure the success of the international event. 
The delegation of the parliamentary division participating in the Asian Parliamentary Assembly meetings in Pakistan affirming Bahraini legislative authority's support of transforming the assembly to an Asian parliament to become an Asian organization advocating the common interests of Asian countries through enhancing cooperation and coordination among Asian parliaments, formulating plans and programs that contribute to the region's security and stability and pushing forward development and progress. For more on this topic, we are joined by the Chairman of the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee of the Shura Council and Head of the Participating Delegation in Pakistan, Dr. Muhammad Ali Khuzai. Hello and welcome, Dr. Muhammad. Could you tell us what is the latest development in the Asian Parliamentary Assembly's transformation into an Asian Parliament? Well, good afternoon. We have very meeting of and deliberations the idea of a, a Asian parliament. Uh, a committee of specialty on the creation of the Asian parliament. Our apologies to Dr. Mohammed. We seem to have communication problems. On the sidelines of his participation in the 14th Manama Dialogue, UK's Minister of State for the Middle East and North Africa, Alastair Burz, accompanied by British Ambassador Simon Martin, paid a visit to Beit al-Quran. He was welcomed by Chairman of the Board of Trustees of King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Sheikh Khaled bin Khalifa al-Khalifa, and Deputy Chairman and Head of This, bah this is Bahrain Society, Betsy Matheson, in addition to one of the founders of Beit al-Quran, Abdel Latif Kaunu. The minister toured the museum and looked at several documents that outlined the Islamic history as well as the Abrahamic history. He commanded at the displays at the museum and highlighted the excellent relations that links the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom in all fields. The tolerance of Bahrain uh, is, is well known and it's deeply important in a region and in a world which is very conflicted that his majesty is so determined to carry on the traditions of bahrain means a great deal and from the enthusiasm of people here and the goodwill of people here that tolerance means even more today perhaps than it used to in the past can't be taken for granted and is much to be celebrated well uh, alistair bird the minister for the middle east knows bahrain extremely well uh, but we discovered that he'd never been to the beta al quran so uh, it was a wonderful opportunity for him to meet uh, uh, representatives of a number of different faiths um, organized by the King Hamad Center for uh, Interreligious Tolerance. We were honored to have uh, Minister Alistair Burt with us today um, and I think that he was very touched by um, some of the very rare manuscripts he saw here today. The fact that the Quran of course has been translated into many languages throughout the world and some of these rare pieces that um, we were honored to see today with Dr. Abdul Latif Kanu, uh, one of the founders of Beit al-Quran. Extremely rare but extremely beautiful. The, the, the richness of the calligraphy and the artwork um, printed into papyrus, printed into paper using gold and using sandalwood. And I think that uh, this really touched the heart of the minister. He really appreciated the um, freedom of faith and how deeply um, faith communities here in Bahrain interact. And uh, that's a result of our peaceful coexistence. And peaceful coexistence is something that in the Kingdom of Bahrain, we wish for all people of the world. We wish everyone to be able to live as we do. And the minister noted that Bahrain has a rich um, and long-standing culture, heritage and tradition and that, as in the United Kingdom, its, its religious freedom is protected by law. The British University of Bahrain hosted today a visit by UK's Minister of State for the Middle East and North Africa, Alastair Burt, accompanied by British Ambassador Simon Martin and Deputy British Ambassador Muqbal Ali. Burt was briefed on the development of the British University of Bahrain, a partnership with the University of Salford, UK, which allows students in Bahrain to gain a British University degree without travelling abroad. He learned that the partnership between BUB and Salford means that Bahraini students are able to gain degrees which are identical in content and standards to those which they would receive in the UK. After a tour of the BUB campus, Bert was able to interact with a number of BUB students and staff members. He com commented on that it was particularly pleasing to meet a number of female students pursuing degrees in civil engineering, a profession in which women are traditionally underrepresented both in Bahrain and the UK.